Hey everybody, welcome back to the shop. Told y'all I'd be back. Okay, I got all my parts. I got I sprayed my mold release on there after I waxed it. And I sprayed my primer on there. That's just my urethane based primer I get at O'Reilly's. It's Transstar. It actually has a hardener with it. It's not just an air dry. You know, it's a chemical dry. And that's what keeps it from shrinking. Back when I first started making parts, I believe it was on the nacelles. This old boy told me that he was having trouble with the uh, primer still shrinking after he pulled out his pulled out his parts. He was able to see a lot of his glass weave. Well, uh, I think it was because he's using lacquer primer, people. And that lacquer primer, that is the shrinkingest stuff I ever seen, man. And this urethane don't seem to shrink as much as that uh, lacquer does. Yeah, let's mix up 300 grams. Got a lot of people catching me on resin, saying this is 25 to one. Actually, this is 100 parts. Of resin to 25 parts of hardener which is pretty much 4 to 1 so I got 300 grams of resin so I need 75 grams of hardener that's 25 grams per hundred No, or is it that other? No, this is the 20, yeah. It's the other stuff that's 16. You had to make me think there for a minute. Ooh. 75. Right there, perfect. Perfecto. Perfecto Ramos. Perfecto Ramos. I don't think this ought to be enough to do what I need to do. So I'm going to stay on schedule this week, people. I'm going to get these parts all laid up today. Go to Texas tomorrow. Turn around and drive home tomorrow night. Be back making part. Dad's coming over Wednesday, people. Talked to Dad this morning. Sandy's doing fine. She was only in the hospital today. But I keep forgetting to tell you guys that. Sandy's fine. And uh, they actually went to the grocery store this morning. Dad said it was the first time she's been out of the house, but... They had to take out her gallbladder. I guess she had a bunch of stones in there. I had to go in there and take that out. I bet she feels a whole lot better now. Tell you what, I had them kidney stones once. Back when I first started this project. Man, they were just kidney stones. Now, I'll tell you what. That was something else, man. Where'd all my spreaders go? Glue sticks and spreaders, people. I'm almost out of spreaders. Set. 
Let this set five or ten minutes while I do the rest of these parts. Make sure all that glass gets saturated and there's no light spots. You know, this is just a door. I still want it to look good, you know. Now we're just going to let that set and go on to another one. Alright. Put this resin on heavy. Putting all three layers on at once. And you can see if you have if you got any light spots. They'll stick out like a sore thumb. And get past that edge though, that's very important. Otherwise you can't trim it and you'll end up with a frayed edge and just look terrible. Just go let that soak in. Then we'll go back and we'll scrape some more of it off. Only got a couple minutes left to keep the glass from floating. Remember that, people? If we got too much resin there, that glass will float. And we don't want it to do that because we want a lot of this stuff to sit flat. We don't want no lumps in it. So we need to scrape off the extra resin. But we want to make sure our, all our cloth is saturated before we do that or we'll end up with dry spots. Alright. Alright. Well, we all know what that means people. This episode of Bob TV has come to an end. Sad but true. Sad but true. I don't have enough time to uh, put this layer of cloth on. It's going to be all for this week. Ah, uh, psych. <laughs> Psych. We'll be back next Monday with another episode. Shoot, we know y'all can't handle that. I'll be back later today. You know I'll bring you some more Bob TV. Same Bob time. Same Bob station. This episode of Bob TV was broadcasted in PhiloVision. This is a drama-free zone. <laughs>